Hello and welcome back for the second part of this tutorial. In this video we will model the handle. We are first going to start with an extrude on the front plane. We're going to select a line and then draw a line that intersects with the origin. And we're going to get these lines from dimensions. This will be 25. The distance between this point and this point will be 1. And we're going to select arc. We're going to draw an arc right here. And one at the bottom. And we will give these arcs some dimensions. This will be 4.5. This distance will be 0 0.5. Should be 4.5 and let's make this tangent let's also make this tangent this distance will be 9.5 and the distance between these points will be 2 then we have our sketch for the handle and we're going to extrude this profile. Let's go to the surfaces, extrude the surface. We're going to extrude it by 8.75 in two directions. Then we're going to use swept surface to model the rest of the handle. We're going to sketch on the front plane. And we're going to draw our guideline. We select convert entities. Click on this line. Then we're going to select arc. For this arc, we're going to insert some dimensions. This will be 1, and the radius of the arc will be 650. Then we're going to draw another arc from the top of this extrude. To our profile and the distance between these points will be 11 and we will trim this line and we will make this tangent now we're going to draw another center line This will be a construction line and it will have a dimension of 115. Let's drag this arc towards the line. And we're going to select arc again. Gonna insert some dimensions. This will be four. This will be twenty-six. And we're going to connect this point with the arc. And the distance between this point and this point will be five. We're going to draw one more arc. Insert some dimensions. This will be five. And this will be five. 
and to finish the profile we will insert a sketch fillet so it's sketch fillets like this line and this line we will insert a sketch fillet with a radius of six then our guideline is finished and we still have to draw the profile but before we have to insert the plane and we're going to insert the plane right here so before leaving the sketch we will draw reference points we're going to select center line and then draw a line from this point to this point then we can leave the sketch we go to plane and we can select this point this point and this point and then we have our plane in the right position click on the plane sketch select center line and give the center line a dimension of 18 then we're going to draw a profile we're going to select the arc and draw an arc And the arc will have a height of 2. To connect this sketch with our guideline, we click on this point. We click on the guideline and select pairs. And we leave the sketch. We will select swept surface. Select our profile and our path. Click on OK. Then we're going to draw the second guideline for the bottom of the handle. Select front plane, sketch. We're going to select arc and draw an arc from the bottom of the extrude to somewhere around here. And then draw three more arcs. And we're going to give these arcs some dimensions. This will be 30. And the distance between these points will be 11. This will be 26. And this distance will be 1. will also be 26 and 1 and for the radiuses of these arcs this will be 33.75 This will be 26.7 This will be 20.15 This will be 26 Then we're going to draw another construction line for our plane Select center line and Draw a line from here to here and then leave the sketch we're going to select plane select this point this point and this point click ok and we're going to sketch another profile the profile will have the same dimensions So 
so this one will be 18 this will be 2 and then we're going to draw our arc We're going to connect this arc with our guideline. Then leave the sketch. Let's hide the plane. Select Swift Service. Select our profile and our path. Click OK. And the only thing we have to model is the size of the handle, and we're going to use an extrude for that. Click on this face, sketch. We'll send the line down the middle. And give this center line a dimension of 16.5. this horizontal select line draw a line at the top and a line at the bottom it's connected to the extrude and those lines both have a dimension of 8 and they will be in the middle Should be eight. And we're going to select spline. So we're going to draw a spline from here to here. And these points will be vertical. The same at the other side. And our sketch is finished. Now we're going to extrude the sketch and then trim all the surfaces we don't need.
then all the surfaces are trimmed, you can knit the surfaces together and make a solid object. Then somewhere around here, there's a hole in the handle. So we're going to the front plane. And we select the center line. So we draw a center line from this point here, and then a horizontal center line. This line will have a dimension of 14. And this line will have a dimension of 105. And we're going to select circle. This will be a circle of 5.5. We're going to features, extrude cut, and select all true, both sides. Click OK. To finish the handle, we will apply some fillets. And then the knife is done. Thank you for watching.